Hi students, this is Satish Kumar. Today I am presenting the 8th video lecture on uh, microwave waveguides. In the last lecture, we have uh, completed transverse magnetic mode of analysis. We have calculated the uh, solution of EZ as well as we have calculated all the remaining four components uh, in terms of uh, M, N, uh, that is there are the different modes in transverse magnetic mode of analysis. In this lecture, we are going to see propagation of transverse electric waves in a rectangular waveguide. As we have already seen that in transverse magnetic mode of analysis, uh, Hz is 0 and Ez is not equal to 0. That's the reason we have calculated the solution for Ez in transverse magnetic mode of analysis. Okay, and now in this transverse electric mode of analysis, Ez is 0 and Hz is not equal to 0. That means for this Hz, we are going to find out the equation, differential equation, and then we have to find out the solution and we have to eliminate the uh, arbitrary constants by applying again the boundary conditions using the rectangular waveguide four walls. So let us First to see what is the differential equation for this transverse electric mode of uh, analysis. In this transverse electric, these M and N represents the modes, okay, or a half power mode variations, we can call it. Okay, that fatty modes in a rectangular waveguide are characterized by Ez equal to zero, as I already mentioned. In other words, the Z component of the magnetic field, Hz must be present or exist in order to have the energy transmission in the waveguide. That means we have to find out Hz differential equation and its solution. For that, so we have to start with the Helmholtz equation which we have derived already. This is our Helmholtz equation which we get from the electromagnetic wave equations in free space which is actually del square H vector is equal to mu naught epsilon naught into dou square h vector by dou t square but that dou square by dou t square is replaced with this uh, omega minus omega square and mu naught epsilon naught will be there as it is and in that h vector which is on both sides we have to just compare only the z components of uh, h vector that's the reason you are writing here hz and here also hz if you want to compare only ax bar terms, you will get del square hx equal to the entire expression which is also in terms of hx and if you want to compare ay terms, ay unit vector terms, you will get del square hy is equal to the same and as you are comparing az, okay, az is the unit vector which you are comparing on both sides, then you will be getting this particular expression that is del square hz is equal to minus omega square mu naught epsilon naught hz. This is the same thing which we have already seen uh, for uh, transverse magnetic mode of analysis there the expression will be in terms of ez. Like why we are choosing ez and hz because the direction of propagation is, he, uh, is z either ez will be present or hz will be present for both the analysis. For transverse magnetic as we have seen Hz is 0, Ez will be present for transverse electric, uh, Ez is 0 and Hz will be present. So, now you are going to expand this del square which is dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square that you are expanding it as del square or uh, dou square by dou x square of Hz, Hz and dou square by dou y square of hz dou square by dou z square of hz is equal to minus omega square mu naught epsilon naught hz but this dou square by dou z square because the direction of propagation is z so this dou square by dou z square we already got it as gamma square or we can say dou by dou z is equal to minus gamma as you are differentiating it for the second time that exponential you will again get one more minus gamma that minus gamma into minus gamma will become gamma square i have already shown you in this uh, in previous lectures okay so now you are going to replace this dou square by dou z square is equal to gamma square so here you are going to replace this with gamma square and you what you will be getting is dou square hz by dou x square plus dou square hz by dou y square plus gamma square hz 
and bring this minus term to the left hand side and what you will be getting is plus omega square mu naught epsilon naught hz as in this hz is common so what you can write is you take that hz common and what you will be getting is this dou square hz by dou x square plus rho square hz by dou y square plus gamma square into omega square mu naught epsilon naught whole thing into hz is equal to zero the same equation we got it in terms of ez for transverse magnetic mode of analysis now you are going to replace this gamma square plus omega square mu naught epsilon naught is equal to some h square which is just a constant because even if uh, you take uh, a variable plus a constant or a constant plus constant is always equal to a constant okay so you will be considering this h square is just a constant so dou square hz by dou x square plus dou square hz by dou y square plus hz into h square is equal to zero this is a second order partial differential equation which will be using it for getting the solution okay and you will be getting the solution for this hz here if you observe it is exactly the similar expression we got it uh, in terms of ez dou square hz by dou x square it's not individually going to become zero the sum of all these three terms is going to become zero that means here hz is an independent function of x and hz here is independent function of y just like what we have seen earlier uh, uh, earlier case okay so now what you have to consider is for getting the solution of this you have to consider hz is equal to f of x into f of y but generally we don't use f of x and f of y which are functions of x and y individually in place of f of x we replace it with capital x and in place of f of y we replace it with capital y so that we are going to see now so this is a partial differential equation of second order and whose solution need to be calculated using variable separable method okay so we are going to use variable separable method and in that in that if we initially consider that that hz as it is a function of independent function of x and independent function of y are pure functions of x and y respectively so i told you you have to write this as x and this as y so which are actually f of x into f of y but instead of writing that f of x into f of y we call here is capital x into capital y in few textbooks even they'll take f of x into f of y but just for the convenience i am taking here as capital x into capital y now substitute this hz in this above partial differential equation so what will happen is so substituting this hz which is a capital x into capital y in the differential equation so in place of hz if i substitute dou square of capital x y by dou x square plus dou square of capital x y by dou y square plus h square into x y is equal to zero now this capital x is a function of x but y is independent of x so bring that y outside of this differential equation here dou square x y by dou y square here y is a function of this y but x is independent of y so bring this x outside as h, h square is just a constant into x y will be as it is is equal to zero now you have modified this equation a little bit but here still this particular term is having both y terms and x terms and here this term is also having both x terms and y terms so what we'll do is we'll be converting the whole thing into a single term which is exactly in terms of x which is exactly in terms of y for that what we will do is we will divide the whole expression with x and y that is x into y if you divide the whole expression with x into y so y by x y will be y y getting cancelled and what you will be getting is only 1 by x and remaining is same dou square x by dou x square and x by x by x y what will be remained is 1 by y into dou square y by dou y square plus h square into x y by x y getting cancelled and what is remained is only h square now this is purely the first term is purely in terms of x and second term is purely in terms of y and third term is anyway constant so here we have to use a variable separable method because this is a purely function of x and second term is purely function of y so i'll be equating that 
to some constant. So the first term 1 by x into dou square x by dou x square, we are equating it to minus b square as we have already done this in uh, transverse magnetic mode of analysis. And your equation now will become this x you take it to the right hand side dou square x by dou x square plus b square into x is equal to 0. This is one differential equation which is purely in terms of x. Similarly, you equate that 1 by y into dou square y by dou y square is equal to minus a square similar to the previous derivation. Now, dou square y by dou y square into a, a plus a square into y is equal to 0. Now, this is second differential equation which is of second order. Okay. Now, once you get this equation in terms of uh, one is x and other is y, we get the solutions for x and y individually. But before that, let us try to write this minus a square and minus b square in this expression. This 1 by x into dou square x by dou x square is minus b square and this is minus a square plus h square equal to 0. So, minus b square minus a square plus h square equal to 0 and what you will be getting here is simply h square is equal to a square plus b square. We will come to this later because we have to find out what is a and what is b by applying boundary conditions but this sixth equation we will keep it aside. Now I will be coming back to this fourth and fifth equations that is from the fourth equation which is a second order differential equation we get the solution. So we no need to do the solutions here we directly write the solution which are exactly similar to the transverse magnetic mode of analysis because x here is a function of only x the constant you are considering it as c1 c2 so you will be getting the solution for x as c1 cos bx b is a constant which we have taken there and plus c2 sin bx one is sin and the other is cos okay you can take like this also c2 cos bx plus c1 sin bx anything is fine uh, there is not compulsory that first we should take cos and uh, next we should take sine. The constants can be anything. Now, C3 cos Ay plus C4 sin Ay because here y is a function of uh, only independent uh, y. So, C3 cos Ay plus C4 sin Ay are the solutions of x and y. As we know that the Hz will be x into y so this c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx into c3 cos ay plus c4 sin ay. So here c1, c2, c3, c4 are the arbitrary constants and these constants along with that ab values will be evaluated in a slightly different way by using again the boundary conditions. Here the boundary conditions are by using the rectangular waveguide walls okay we know the top wall bottom wall left side wall and right side wall we have already got the dimensions of uh, that x and y by substituting these boundary conditions okay we will have to find out by eliminating the arbitrary constant we have to find out the final solution for hz and after getting that hz we have to find out the remaining field components by substituting this hz for the transverse electric mode of propagation okay so in the next class that is in lecture 9 we are going to see the boundary conditions of uh, transverse electric mode of propagation if you like this lectures so please subscribe to my channel which is svs online edu training thank you